Hello and welcome to Draw With Me, artist Leslie Watson and today we're going to be drawing Baby Groot. Now this is for a wee bit more advanced than the other Baby Groot that I have done and so it's a bit more detailed, a wee bit more almost anime-ish but a wee bit more lifelike instead of just doing the wee chibi drawing that I did last time this is a bit more advanced. Uh, so again, if you need a minute, don't forget to pause the video, you know, take your time. It can be a wee bit more daunting trying to get into, you know, the bit more advanced stuff. But yeah, let's get into this. So, like always, we start off with a round circle. Doesn't matter if it's Groot, whether it be a human being. Then I go off and it's almost like drawing a little hat on him. Like, you know, quite a tall hat. And that'll be for his head features later on. Now, when working on the body, on here down, it's almost quite like a cylinder shape. But, like you see, I've done a couple of lines there, but that was generally to keep it in kind of the same width of the head. Now, I also filled in the legs there and then I, which again are just almost like rectangular shapes. And then you can see where I'm kind of judging where to put the arms. Now with the arms here and the hands, you know, they are quite low because you know, Grit, ha Grit has quite long arms. So you can see where I'm placing them and trying to get the width and everything right with them. And like I always say when I'm doing the hands, I always try and make it look like they're wearing mittens first. And this is where I'm kind of putting the cross lines in for the, the head here now. I also put it in to make it look 3D almost. I also put in a line there to show where the side of the head would be so it was almost like a rectangle and there we go I've started working on the eyes and the mouth there now you can see again the eyes are you know they're big you know eyes you know I fill in the wee details there around them I actually blacken them in so I do just to give it a bit more depth around the wee uh, shading and where the light is actually coming into the picture. So from here I start putting in some of the wee details around the head. You know, the kind of uh, spikes and you know, branches that would come off the top of Groot's head. Yep, the leaf come out there as well. And put in a couple other wee details just so then, you know, when it comes to inking and stuff, you know, I've already got an idea of where to start. I also put in two wee, line, wee eyebrows above the eyes there as well, just to show where they would be. So again, I thinned out the face a wee bit there and put in a lot more details and you know, basically played around with the face until I was actually happy with the shape of it. And that's why we do guidelines because if you're not happy with it, you can always rub them out. Once you start inking, well, then it's a lot harder to change things. But so far as a pencil drawing, it doesn't look too bad. Don't forget if you're all 
are liking these videos if you are drawing along some of the pictures of what you are doing you know across any of the social medias and don't forget to hit me and uh, hit me up in the comment section as well you know tell me how you're getting on if you've got any questions or queries and i'll do my best to answer you So yeah, you can see that I started putting in a couple other wee lines there, you know, across to where the chest would be. And that just basically kind of gave me a good idea where upper part of the chest. So when I start putting in the chest plates, which I'm doing here, uh, basically where to put them. Now with Groot, Groot at this stage, when he's like toddling about, from Gardens of Galaxy Volume 2 he is full of like wee chest, uh, wee wooden plates across and then the vines actually run below and so it was a bit more interesting when I was doing this because I was doing the wee plates instead of like the the chibi group where it was all just vines so this is almost like wee bits and pieces of wood which I quite easily detail in if you want me to do a video of the different kind of textures with Groot hit me up and I will make one for you but yeah now you can see where I'm starting to get into down where the the pelvic muscles and stuff uh, structure would be and then I kind of work my way back up As you can see, I'm doing all the plates, like different kind of shapes and sizes. This to give Groot a wee bit more depth. And then when I start to come to the neck and there, you can start seeing the vines that I'm putting in there. Now I know my camera is not the greatest of qualities, but uh, if you do need to pause at any moment to catch up, don't forget you know you can it's not against the rules a lot of artists get asked uh, how long does a picture take and whatnot and I just wanted to kind of touch upon that so like a drawing like this, I think this took me just over an hour, not long after an hour anyway. And that was from start till finish. Uh, usually the editing in these videos takes a lot longer. Uh, but yeah, so I spent about an hour on this from start to finish, you know, with all the wee details and inking and colouring. And yeah, so, you know, it's... It, it can be a slow process but one of the beginner ones you know usually takes me under half an hour 20 minutes maybe so you can see where you know the more that you actually do get you know more advanced with your drawing the longer you'll actually take on it and the more fun hopefully you will be having with it Now probably looking back on it now, the only bit that I actually don't like about this drawing is the legs. I think I made them a wee bit too short. I did try to make it the, the aspect of he was walking towards something. But yeah, I think in hindsight his legs are a wee bit short. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments and yeah don't forget if you want to change anything in this drawing if you're drawing along 
go for it. Uh, if you want to spin your own style on it and whatnot, do it. You want to change the color schemes, do it. Art is all about being free flowing and different anyway, so, you know, work away. And you've probably noticed as well, this video is a tad longer than the usual, you know, 10 minute videos I do put up. Uh, so just with that in mind, uh, I think it does get a wee bit quicker here when I'm, after I've started inking, well at least when I'm colouring anyway. But as you can see, you know, I am on the inking stage, so you know, this is where it all comes together. And then once you've rubbed out, you know, all the pencil marks, you can really see it coming together. Also, you'll notice that I'm not actually using a Sharpie when I'm inking. I'm actually using... Sorry, you can tell a lot that I was changing music and things. Hence why my pen wasn't moving. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta find the right song, you know? Uh, but yeah, uh, so you'll also notice that I was using a fine liner instead of a Sharpie. Now these, you can get Sharpie fine liners. I do have Sharpie fine liners kicking about here somewhere. I think I've uh, already went through a couple of them in the last couple of weeks, so. Yeah. Uh, you can pick fine liners up from generally anywhere, you know, any uh, decent stationery store. And yeah. So I'm just going to go quiet now, just to run through this video for a couple of minutes as I'm just inking this. Uh, just sit back and relax and enjoy. So now we get to the fun part where we start rubbing out all the pencil marks. It becomes a wee bit 
cleaner, a wee bit clearer, and yeah, then you see the parts where you've missed, well, where I've missed, and you see me just filling them in quickly, and I also added in the wee bits at the bottom there as well, and also signed, everybody has to sign their work, usually I do sign mine, I'm really bad for it, halfway through, so... Yeah, and now I'm into the colouring. Now, you've kind of noticed already I've already done one side there with a Winston and Newton Pro Marker. They are absolutely lovely markers. But the one problem with this is, and you'll see me kind of getting into it, was this chubby marker that I have. It has lasted me for absolute ever. And finally, it almost gave up on me on this so I literally had to go over a couple of bits two or three times but yeah and then the other brown that I use in this is a darker Winston and Newton Pro Marker as well now you don't need professional colours to colour things in uh, all you need is, like I have there is a chubby marker it works don't forget always to imagine where your lighting is coming from so that means when you're putting in shades like the way I am here you can actually see gives the character a wee bit more depth And then finally I put in wee extra little touches like the wee moss on the top of the head and everything. And then darken down the shades and whatnot. A few wee extra bits and pieces here and there. And then with thicker sharpie, I kind of put in a little bit of extra shading around uh, bits and pieces on the body, you know, especially some of the place, just to show a bit more shading and depth. And then with the ground, I wanted to show shadow, just so that I can make it look like group was kind of like walking towards. Uh, me and yeah still not happy with those legs but hey there we go that is baby group a uh, bit more advanced than the usual ones we've been doing i hope you've enjoyed it uh, especially if it is been a wee bit more challenging than usual uh, don't forget through a couple of comments down below like subscribe uh, and have fun and stay safe. Thanks.